We welcome you here at the Technical Forum at the Group Exhibit Hydrogen and Fuel Cells 2013. Please have a seat and a free drink. You are invited to listen to our presentation here and ask some questions at the end. Come and enjoy us here with us the next presentation dealing with the topic Testing and characterization of electrolysis and SOFC at the FCH Test Center from the Technical University of Denmark, Center Manager Eva Grafen Nielsen. Here we go. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you a lot. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eva Raun Nielsen. I'm Center Manager of the FCH Test Center at the energy conversion. I would like to show you that the FCH test center is dedicated to finding the right testing solution for your company. We deal with fuel cells, electrolysis, we test cells, stacks and other components in small systems. We have unique competence in electrochemical performance and material characterization, uh, microstructure analysis, and advanced testing. The agenda of my talk will be first part. Yeah, is this better? Thank you. First, I will tell you about the department and the FCH test center, our services. I will tell you a case about how you can understand your SFFC, your solid oxide fuel cells and electrolysis cells better and very detailed. I will explain about our activities within electrolysis and give an example on our advanced testing advanced mechanical testing this is, and show a bit about our current projects. So first, the department. The Department of Energy Conversion and Storage at the Technical University of Denmark, for short we call it DTU Energy Conversion. This is a um, newly formed department. Uh, which focuses on sustainable technologies for energy conversion and storage. The department has 250 employees, mainly located at the DTU RISU campus in Denmark. There are um, more than 100 colleagues involved in fuel cell and electrolysis. And we have experience with fuel cells research, development, and testing since 1987. And three years ago, we started FCH Test Center, which offer industry testing and other services on commercial terms. The research and development in the department focuses on industrial collaboration and industrial relevant processes. We span from fundamental investigations to component manufacture. The technologies we deal with are uh, SOFC, SOEC, high temperature PEM, hydrogen storage, batteries, and other. We do materials development and component development research and development on manufacturing processes for ceramics as well as for polymers. We do advanced testing, characterization and modeling. In our laboratory, we have a capacity for cell testing and stack testing. We have around 25 test benches for electrochemical testing. Uh, and one future option will be the high pressure testing. We have profound experience 
in, the, in this field, and industry have expressed uh, a high need for access to testing. Uh, and as we have the know-how and the facilities, we are dedicated in uh, making this available to industry in order to facilitate a market breakthrough of fuel cell and hydrogen technologies. Now to the test center and our services. The FSH test center offers testing, which I will talk a lot of, training of engineers and technicians. Also, we arrange seminars and offer consultancy within fuel cells and electrolysis. We do advanced testing and demonstration of components and system. And we have standardized test procedures from we receive an order and an item for testing until the documentation and final reporting. The test services include impedance spectroscopy, which can tell you about the performance of individual parts of a fuel cell. We do long-term testing, station analysis, we offer accelerated testing, and we can do mechanical testing at high temperatures and in controlled atmosphere. We have unique competences within microscopy, microstructure analysis. So we do failure analysis by scanning electron microscopy and high resolution transmission electron microscopy. We do uh, advanced characterization, have a number of uh, self-developed uh, test methods, uh, which is available to you. And we also offer to develop further tests on request. Now to the case, how to understand your solid oxide fuel cell and solid oxide electrolysis cells. The combination of electrochemical and microstructural characterization makes it possible to achieve the unique understanding of the fuel cell required for further product optimization. Our electrochemical testing involves IV curves and electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. We perform what we call a fingerprint, which combines testing at a number of temperatures and with a number of different gases on the uh, anode side and at the cathode side of the cell. This fingerprint will reveal the performance of the individual parts of your fuel cell. And when we perform this test at the beginning of a test and at the end of a long test, it can also tell you uh, information about the degradation and where the degradation of your cell take place. So what is of key interest is the internal resistance of the cell. A uh, fuel cell, a solid oxide cell, uh, basically uh, has an air electrode, a solid oxide electrolyte, and a fuel electrode. We have to know about the reactions taking place, and here is the, the basic reactions in fuel cell mode. Oxygen reacts with electrons to form oxide ions. The oxide ions are transferred through the solid electrolyte, reacts with hydrogen, and form water. But these overall reactions consist of more complex fundamental reactions in the complex microstructure, and many of the important reactions take place at three-phase boundary at a triple point, and understanding the mechanisms on a microstructural level is important for the further uh, interpretation of results. So, if we want to know what is the contribution from the individual cell components to the overall cell resistance, 
impedance spectroscopy can tell you this. When we put an alternating current over the cell at number of frequencies, we get an um, impedance um, response. And we plot here the imaginary impedance versus the real impedance. And what is important is when you got all the way here, this is a measure of the total resistance of the cell. This alone does not tell you much. But we, when we have the knowledge and experience, uh, then we can transfer the fingerprint into valuable information. Because all this uh, impedance response can be divided in resistance due to the cathode at high frequency, anode, cathode, gas diffusion, and gas converge conversion. When you have this information, you know how your cell performs, and you can detect places uh, for potential improvements. In this case, we have a fuel cell where the cathode has the highest, or is responsible for the highest resistance. Then we combine this information with microstructural analysis. And here we have uh, the, 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 uh, the interface uh, between electrolyte and cathode in the cell that I, I just showed you. And you, you can see that the, the cathode material there are uh, distance between the particles, a lot of distance, so it's not uh, un uh, uniformly spread over the surface. Um, this can be uh, improved by changing the manufacturing process. So we now do screen printed cathode, and you can see from the picture that the particles are much more uniformly distributed over the cell. Okay, and then how does this perform? It lowers the resistance by 40%, and more to this, it is the cathode resistance that is smaller, because it was the cathode we changed, and um, therefore we also have a more even distribution of the different um, resistance. So when doing this on your cell, we can say, OK, this part of the cell is responsible for high resistance, high loss, and loss of efficiency. So this would be a good place to start for your optimization. Hereby, we provide unique understanding of your cell for further product development. Uh, crucial input for designing, dimensioning, quality control, troubleshooting, and further product development. We can show the general performance, the degradation behavior, identify which part of the cell has the highest uh, loss or resistance, which part of the cell causes the greatest degradation. And by the microscopy, we can also identify the weakest point, the cell integrity. So we perform these kind of testing on cells and stacks and components. We can show the general performance degradation behavior. We offer long-term testing. We can do accelerated uh, testing, uh, accelerated cycling, either by cycling load or redox or temperature. When doing electrolysis, uh, solid oxide electrolysis cells, we can do either steam electrolysis or co-electrolysis of steam and CO2. We can investigate the sensitivity to sulfur and other impurities in the gas. And when p testing both cells and stacks, we can show what is the difference between a single cell and stack performance. 
and help you explain the stack performance. And future option will be testing under high pressure. In our laboratory, we can also offer a special gas cleaning system, which enables you to distinguish between degradation caused by impurities in the gas and other degradation mechanisms. That will show you faster uh, degradation results and uh, fa faster conclusions, and you can distinguish between one thing and another. And, um, when you then do optimization product development, you will very fast get a result if this is uh, improving the degradation or not. Now to our electrolysis activities. We do research, development and testing, as I have explained to you already, on solid oxide electrolyzer cells. We work on HTPEM electrolysis. We have research on high temperature alkaline electrolysis, which is a new technology. And we also work a bit on alkaline electrolysis. And uh, we have a proposal for projects. If uh, any of you would like to hear more about what we can offer you in cooperation in this project, uh, which considers um, water quality influence on the electrolysis and the degradation, then please uh, contact us for, for further discussion. Then an example of our advanced test methods, advanced mechanical testing. When we do mechanical testing at high temperatures and in a controlled atmosphere, it can show, uh, it can be used to optimize the heating pro profiles with respect to the resulting strength. So in your sintering process of ceramics or uh, reduction process, you do, this tool can bring you information on uh, what is the resulting strength and can you optimize this temperature profile. We have a specially designed setup for four point bending testing um, multiple samples in one heat up. And testing up to 16 samples at a time ensures reliable results in a short time. Because when you measure mechanical uh, characteristics of a, uh, a material, you need a high number of samples in order to get reliable results. This we can offer you at very unique uh, conditions, high temperatures and controlled atmosphere. Then finally to our projects. At the moment we are an FCH test center involved with the Enerfield project, which I hope you will also hear more about during this fair. It is a large European wide field demonstration of up to 1000 uh, micro combined heat and power systems. We are in this project uh, looking for uh, project partners uh, within utilities that would like to be involved in this demonstration. We do PEM fuel cell stack test procedures for industry in the stack test project. In the H2 Ocean, we design, together with all the partners, a wind wave ocean platform equipped with hydrogen production. And this is the project where we would like to look further into alkaline electrolysis and uh, water requirements. Then we are involved in two Danish projects, the high provide coordination with standardization of electrolysis, which you can hear more about on Friday. Uh, and we have a brand new project, Smart Copenhagen, which will be a large scale demonstration of electrolysis hydrogen storage, fuel cells, and other hydrogen usage uh, within the city of Copenhagen. So hereby, I hope you uh, understand that we are dedicated in finding the right testing solution for your company uh, within fuel cells, electrolysis, cell stacks, components, small systems, electrochemical performance, materials characterization, 
microstructure analysis is our key competences. And here at the technical forum on Friday at 11, my colleague Frederik Nygaard will tell you about the Danish efforts within industry standards for electro electrolysis. I hope you can, can join this. And finally, I want to thank my good colleagues at the DTU Energy Conversion and our project sponsors. Uh, please contact us for further information. We have a booth just down E Street. And um, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot for this uh, interesting um, presentation. Now you have from the audience the opportunity to ask some questions, to make some comments or remarks. Uh, good morning. Um, I have a question. Could you tell me what uh, kind of salt oxide fuel cell do you use? Uh, what kind of uh, salt oxide fuel cell do you use? M uh, metal supported or anode supported uh, or electrolyte supported? As I understand, Electro electrolyte supported fuel cell uh, you produce. What we can produce in our own uh, laboratory facilities uh, are anode supported. Uh, cells, uh, but we develop also uh, metallic supported cells and can also test uh, electrolyte uh, supported cells, um, but anode supported is what we do ourselves. What uh, methods uh, are you used uh, for uh, producing an uh, electrolyte layer? What method? We method? have a number of methods. We have uh, tape casting. We have the screen printing, we have uh, spray processes. So there is a number of, of uh, different manufacturing processes. And also we work with um, different deposit layers, uh, barrier layers, mm -hmm. investigating a number of methods. So we can discuss if what is your key interest. Yes, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Viktor Kudyarov and I have one question about your university. Uh, do you have any educational programs about fuel cells and hydrogen production? Thank you. Yes, we have um, a master on sustainable energy and uh, we have until this year an elite uh, master program for fuel cells. Uh, so we do uh, Bachelor students, mostly master students, uh, thesis, pro uh, PhD thesis, on on all these topics. So, yeah. thank you. Do here are any questions left? Okay. So thank you again, if I being here. Thank you. And like you told us, if there are any questions, not yet, but if in the next days. Please visit Eva at her booth. It's uh, here at the group exhibit Hydrogen and Fuel Cells. It's E67. Thanks again. So, and uh, we will. <laughs> okay. So, we will start in a few minutes with the next presentation from Seller Energy. And the topic is hydrogen storage without high pressure. Thanks. <laughs>